I, he, he didn't show up. He quit showing up. Cost me the playoffs. Cost me another trip to the Super Bowl. Ugh. So I hate Kevin Jones. I would probably pepper spray him uh, if I ever had the opportunity. Well, he was cussing. And he was being cocky. I felt it a need to pepper spray him. I mean, swearing and being cocky? Good lord. Right in the eyes I got him. So I, I'm just saying, fantasy football can really, really, uh, you know, cause aggressive behavior. <laughs> of course, in my case, it's passive aggressive behavior. I, you know, I get on, I get online and start blasting people in my on my message boards and, and stuff like that. I never really go out and try to take people down. But hey, if I'm not a cop in a position to arrest guys that don't perform on on my fantasy team, I honestly think that's what this is. <laughs> All right, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, more NFL stuff. Dominic Rhodes back to the Indy. Elwood. Elwood, what does that mean? Is he going to be, is it going to be like Adai's rookie year? Or will Joseph Adai still be like the main guy with Rhodes coming in and, and spelling him a little bit like Kenton Keith did last year? Listen, I got to know, man. I'm rolling with Joseph Adai on my fantasy team. I got to know how this is going to work. I, I saw that they picked Dominic Rhodes back up, and I, you know, I could only hope because of, I'm quite selfish, and fantasy football means way more to me than it should mean to people. I was like, oh, man, I hope he has some troubles with the law again so he gets suspended, so a guy gets all the carries. I'm worried he's going to hawk touchdowns away from me. Take carries away. Uh, that'll really, really piss me off. I'm not kidding. I'll be really upset about that. I don't, yeah, I know. Adai, Adai is the big time around here, Elwood says. I can't see anyone taking his spot. I'm not worried about him losing his spot. I know he'll still be, like, I mean, the number one guy. But what's it going to be? Is it going to be, like, a 15 carries to 10 for Rhodes? Or is it going to be, like, 20, 20 carries to about 5 or 6? You know, it's it makes a difference. I mean, it's a big it's a, Is it going to be, like, a... Is he going to be like a Willie Parker who picks up the yards but then doesn't get the touchdowns? That's a big deal. So, I mean, Indy picks up Dominic Rhodes. I, I'm not sure I understand why exactly. I'm just not... I, I know he was there when they, you know, went to the Super Bowl and won, but I'm not sure why they felt they needed to pick Dominic Rhodes back up. They have Kenton Keith. Christ, if you don't know who Kenton Keith is, ask the cops. He told them who he was on his way to jail. Didn't they just draft someone, too? I mean, they have a deep backfield. They don't need Dominic Rhodes. I don't know. Maybe it's just... <sighs> that's just the fantasy owner and me talking. Ugh. When I saw that, I was upset. Oh, what else? Power rankings came out today. ESPN released their power rankings for the NFL. We'll go over that in a minute. A few other... Uh, Sean Taylor. Redskin safety that was shot and killed. Uh, apparently the the guy who shot him... Now this whole story is... These people break into Taylor's house when he's supposed to be away on a road trip, but he was nursing an injury. So he was at home. So it, like like... Four people broke into the house. One of them was 17. The guy who shot Taylor was 17 at the time. Uh, the story here is they are not seeking the death penalty for the shooter. All right, the prosecutors not seeking the death penalty. Reason being because this guy, Eric Rivera Jr., who just turned 18, he was only 17 at the time uh, that he shot Sean Taylor. He's only 17, so he wasn't a legal adult yet. And I guess the deal is, people cannot be executed for crimes committed when they're under 18. That's a U.S. Supreme Court has upheld that rule, and it's a well-established legal principle that it, it's basically you cannot put to death anyone that 
under the age of 18, no matter what happens. You can't put them to death. So they will be seeking a maximum sentence of life in jail for this kid. I, they, I don't know. They could probably still seek the death penalty, but, but then they wouldn't get it. And from what I understand, I'm not a legal expert, but when I was in high school, I, uh, there was, there's this girl I went to high school with. I actually was in my class. I would say I graduated with her, but she didn't make it to the ceremony. Um, this girl that was in my class that I had known roughly my whole life, and I was actually friends with during our younger years. In high school, we kind of went our different ways a little bit, but we were still acquaintances. This girl uh, apparently was dealing drugs, and a couple guys owed her some money. So she shot them both in the head. Alright, killed them both. Now, she was arrested. And went to trial. And they didn't seek the death penalty. They only they only sought the like a, a the life sentence. And the reason there the reason there was I think she was eighteen at the time, but it was something about uh they didn't want to, to lose, I, like if you, I don't know, it was like if they lost the case seeking the death penalty or something, she just got off, or so, something like that, maybe she was 17 at the time, I'm trying to understand all that and apply it to something that, that I've actually, you know, been through and experienced a little bit, and it seems to me like they could have sought out the death penalty, but there was a good chance they wouldn't get it, because this kid was 17. And then I think I think if you don't get it, if you're if you're after it and, and you don't get it, I think they're just off the hook. So you have to go after something like a life sentence, which is uh, you know has a, an incredible likelihood of sticking, and that's what will happen. I I'm trying to figure it all out. I to me, if a 17 year old shoots somebody, then I you know what's a couple of months? What's a few months? What's a half a year? And this kid's 18 now. 